right, awesome. So this is a Fiyu Tech, or I'm not sure exactly how you say that brand name, but it's F E I Y U. So Fiyu Tech. This is a Vlog Pocket 2. This is a smartphone gimbal, and this is a second generation. It's Mark II. I was waiting for it to come in. I wanted to do this review and I wanted to use it because I got a larger version of Fiyu Tech that I use for my DSLR camera. And you can use it with the cell phone as well, but it's going to be too big and bulky. And this one, on another hand, you can put it in the pocket. You can do portrait and landscape mode. It does object tracking if you connect the gimbal to the smartphone. And you can also control your original camera without having to use the app that comes with this gimbal. And as you can see, it's real small, like it's as big as my hand, like it's really small and it's foldable as well. So I'm really excited. So yeah, this is it. Just pretty simple, very small box. Let's go ahead and open it up and see what it has. I'm really excited. Really want to see what, what it looks inside. And it's always fun to open up new stuff. I'm really excited. And yeah, this is, this is great. So the box looks pretty sturdy. It's got a nice colorful picture and it even stands out like it's looks like it's printed on top of this box. So I don't know if you can tell, but yeah, like you see the picture is glossy and the box is kind of mate. So when you when you have the light coming in, it just shows that kind of looks like it stands out just like a 3D. So let's go ahead and pull it off. And underneath you just got a plain white box. And let's take it off and check it out. There you go. Wow. That's so cool. I love opening new stuff. They always include this information if you want to get more stuff from their website. Like you can go ahead and check it out and join them on other social media. And they also give you a quick start guide, which is normal for everything you get nowadays. Make sure you go online and download a full manual if you want to use all the features of this gimbal because this quick start guide is not going to include any detailed description of this gimbal. It's just going to let you start the gimbal and just give you a rough idea maybe how to balance it. So let's go ahead and check it out what's inside. And yeah, it just shows you the, the main buttons and it shows you how to turn from landscape to portrait mode and what each button does. Just a quick start guide. All right, let's put it aside and go ahead and look at the gimbal. Okay, so this is another card. Thank you for choosing them. Yes, they're welcome. I do have one other gimbals already and I do like it. Hopefully this one's gonna be as good. And look at that. This is so cool, like it looks awesome and looks great. It's so small. Let me just pull out the gimbal. Like, look, it fits on my hand. So it's definitely small enough that I can put it in the pocket, but you gotta have a pretty large pocket though. It definitely feels light. It's made all out of plastic, so there's no metal parts and uh, it doesn't feel like a premium quality because of that, but I'm not saying it's not good quality. It just doesn't feel because usually when you get the anodized aluminum or any kind of metal parts, it just makes it look and makes you, make you feel like it's a more expensive unit. But this one, I got it on sale for only like $80 and the regular price was $130. So I got a really good deal on this one and I'm sure this is going to be worth it because I did want to get a gimbal for my smartphone so I can actually use it anywhere I go and I don't have to carry my big gimbal. So let's go ahead and look what's, what else is in the box before we get a look in more detail on this gimbal. They also give you a tripod. This is a really cool feature because not all gimbals come with a tripod and I did get one of the Ziyun Tech. It didn't come with a tripod. It was a real pain to kind of balance it because you have to hold it still on the table, but it's only standing on a small surface. So it's just basically real hard to balance it. You need a tripod that you can, so it can stand sturdy. And this little guy is not too expensive, but you know, when you have to buy it, it's still like 10, $15. So, I do like that they have included this in the package. This is really good of them uh, that they thought about it. So let's put it aside. And then you also get another USB type C cable. And I do like these flat cables. They don't tangle as much and they look kind of cool. So yeah, looks very nice. 
And you also get a storage bag for this gimbal. Looks like that. Just got a two ropes on each side and then just closes so it doesn't get damaged. Yep, this is it. This is all we have in the box. So let's go ahead and check out this gimbal a little bit more. Okay, so this is how it comes. It comes with a gimbal, it comes with a tripod. As you can see, it's real tiny, it's very small. It fits on the palm of your hand. For easy use, I recommend putting the tripod first. You can just screw it on the bottom and make sure you get it tight here. And now you can just put it like this. It's, now it's gonna be easier to see what it has. It has this little knob here, it's a lock, so you have to unscrew it counterclockwise. Then you gotta lift this arm here and you gotta tighten this knob again. Then it also has a three locks. Each axis has a, its own lock. There is a pan axis, there is a roll axis, and then there is a tilt axis. So each axis has its own lock and it has a marking here on each of the arms. So you're not gonna forget, you don't have to remember it. So you just look on this here and you know which way to unlock it. So make sure you unlock all the axes before you start the gimbal because if you don't do that, it's just gonna start vibrating and it might wreck the gimbal. So first let's go ahead and unlock this pan axis. And as you can see, it doesn't turn 360 degrees, but it's real close to 360. It just doesn't rotate constantly. So then there is another axis here. That's a roll axis. You just gotta unlock this one. Now it's unlocked. So all three axes are unlocked. Once you have all axes unlocked, you can put your phone. It also shows you how to put your phone. So the camera's gotta be facing this way. It's got an arrow here, so you just gotta place the phone here. And the good thing about this gimbal, you don't have to balance it. All you have to do is just kind of put it in the middle as just eyeball it and see how it looks. So right now I think it looks pretty good. And once you have the phone in the holder, you can go ahead and start the gimbal. There is a little power button over here. There we go, it's all good, it started. All right, let's quickly go through the major specs of this gimbal as well as some function buttons. So this gimbal's got a few functions. There is a power button on the right side, right where the USB-C port is. Then up front, you got three buttons as well as a joystick. The first button is the photo taking button. So if you connect your phone via Bluetooth and press the photo button, single tap, you'll take a photo. If you long press it, it will shoot continuously. But keep in mind, you need to install the Fiu on app in order for it to work. The second button is the video button and the single tap starts and stop recording. Then the very low button is the function button. If you single tap this function button, it will switch between different modes and we'll go through the modes in a second. If you double tap it, it will switch between the landscape and the portrait mode. As you can see, you can quickly switch between the portrait and landscape mode. The triple tap will enter standby mode or wake it up from this mode. And if you tap this button five times, it will initialize the gimbal. And this function is necessary when your gimbal is not working correctly. For example, it's moving by itself, it's not still or you're not getting the straight picture it might be a little bit inclined so you need to initialize this so this is how you do it via this button and then you also get in a big joystick button and this joystick button controls all the movement you can tilt up and down you can pan left and right so this joystick will help you to control the movement of the gimbal then on the front side you get in a trigger button if you press and hold it it will lock the gimbal in the position and if you release it it will release this position if you double tap on it it will reset the current setting and return it to the default mode the same one when your gimbal has started if you triple tap it it will switch between front and rear cameras but for this function to work you also need the view on app the single tap first then press and hold will enable the fast follow mode which works really good if you shoot in some sports or some quickly moving objects on the left side of the gimbal there is a little slider if you slide up and down it will adjust the focus if you slide to the t direction it will zoom in if you slide to the w direction it will zoom out but for this to work you also need to install the view on app and use the view on camera app all right, let's go quickly through the modes. So the mode number one is the pan mode. So the roll and tilt direction are fixed and the smartphone moves according to the left right movements of your hand. The second mode, if you press the mode button, is gonna be the lock mode. The orientation of the camera is fixed and no matter how you move it, it will try to stay in the same positions. This is very good if you're trying to focus on some object and you don't wanna miss it. The third mode is the follow mode. The roll direction is fixed and the smartphone moves according to the left right movement up and down movements of your hand. And this is the default mode that is enabled as soon as you start your gimbal. 
Then if you press the mode button again, it's going to enter the all follow mode and the camera is going to move according to the movement of your hand. So as you can see, there are four different modes. You can also choose to shoot in the landscape or portrait. So this is another option for you. And as far as the range of movement, the tilt range is 165 degrees, the roll range is 323 degrees and the pan range is 330 degrees. So it's basically almost 360, but it doesn't rotate constantly. The roll range is almost 360 as well. The tilt direction is quite limited. The standby time of this gimbal is about 9 hours, but it all depends on the payload. The maximum payload that it can handle after balancing is 250 grams, which is pretty good for this size gimbal because the weight of this gimbal is only 272 grams, so you can carry it with you anywhere you go, and this will probably be your smartphone best friend. There you go, guys, there you have it. If you have any questions, please leave in the comment section below. Let me know what kind of gimbal you have and what kind of gimbal are you looking to buy. Also, don't forget to give it a like, subscribe to the channels for more interesting videos, and click the notification bell so you don't miss new videos. But this is it for now. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.